Well, hello everybody, this is Mr. Reeves again here to help you uh, get started on IXL.com. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you get to that site. It's real simple, IXL.com. Now once you're there, it is very important that you log in or you sign in. You actually can go and start on any of these problems. It goes all the way from pre-kindergarten uh, up through 12th grade. And uh, But I'm going to ask you to make sure that you log in. If you do not know your username and password, that information can be found in emails that I've sent out on Google Classroom or email me and I'll get that information to you. For most of my students, it's going to be your first name and your last name and the number is 472. And then the password is set according to your class. Again, that information is on Google Classroom. I'm going to go ahead and type in my password. And we're going to go ahead and take a look. All right, now when you first get in, you see that there are recommendations for different class levels. There are skills that have been suggested by me. Uh, but where I want you to start off is right here where it says Diagnostic. So you click on that Diagnostic. And then up pops something that says step into the arena. And this is how you start the diagnostic test. So go ahead and click on step into the arena. All right. And then you're ready to start. And it says choose a question. All right. So let's see here. One, two, three, four. I'm going to go ahead and do this one. Four times five is 20. Awesome. Look at that. Now we're ready for the next one. Which number is greater, 7.48 or 7.42? I'm going to go with 7.48. I went with 7.48. I'm trying to submit it. Oh, it says to graph it on the number line. Oh, it helps if you read the questions carefully. Up, oh, I got a question wrong. And so it took me back. 5 times 5 is 25, or 25 divided by 5. All right. Now I'm moving on, and so on and so forth. Now there's a lot of questions on this diagnostic. So I suggest that you take it over several days. I've heard as many as like 80 questions. Um, the more questions you get right, the faster it will go. The more questions you get wrong, the slower that it will go. So that's what gets you started. And after you finish that diagnostic test, it will have some recommendations for you so you can fill in those gaps in your learning. All right, I hope this helps. Thanks a lot. We'll talk to you later.